guys, Pete from Mixcat. Um, I don't know if you guys remember it, but this is the Allen battery we did a conversion on. Could you believe it? It's actually two years ago. <laughs> September of uh, 2010. I want to say it was like the 10th, 11th, or 12th in that range. Um, this was that regular car battery that we went ahead and it was dead. We converted it over from a lead acid battery to an Allen battery. Uh, it was a combination of alum and uh, distilled water. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link this video to that one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This was used in my friend Dan's van for quite some time, over a year. And he had no problems with it uh, till the end. It actually got really cold out. And we didn't realize, I don't know if you can make it out on the top of this battery, but he lost a plug. So one of the cells gave up on us. Um, we filled it up again, and well, this is months back before he moved. Um, he's in Tennessee now, but he gave me the battery back at least so I can give you guys an update. Um, I haven't charged it or anything. It's been sitting in the back of my car. <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. I had a bag on it. And um, it's been sitting back there with no charge. Uh, no, no, uh, didn't run it on a battery charger, rather. But let's see what we get right out the gates. Hopefully you can make that out. I should have really cleaned off these terminals. It's pretty oxidized up there. That's okay. We'll see from the back of my car to the meter. All right, she's about 10.9. Uh, 10.9, so it's not too bad off. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a trickle charger and maybe top off the cells and see how she does. Um, but yeah, looks like almost two years of use. Can't believe it, on a dead battery that uh, we resurrected with the alum conversion. Um, if you guys tried that alum conversion and you did a video, do a video response for me or send some comments. Let me know how it worked out for you. If that alum battery was a success, it didn't work for you, uh, let me know. I also, in a couple other batteries, tried Epsom salt with a little, it's water and Epsom salt mixture to get, kind of rejuvenate the battery if you have one that's uh, starting to kind of die on you. And I found that works pretty well and I'll probably do a video on that too. But again, this is the Allen battery experiment we did two years on a completely dead battery that uh, no matter how much I charged it on, the acid, it just wasn't working anymore. The, I guess the oxidation inside got to the point where it just wasn't working. Or I probably could have cleaned it out, put um, the acid back into it, like a clean acid, and maybe it would have worked. But non-toxic alum with water makes a good battery. Well, I hope you enjoyed this update. Again, thanks for the subscriptions, comments, and everything else. I really do appreciate it. Can't believe two years went that fast. It's crazy. Um, well, there you go. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Take care and thanks for watching the video. This is kind of crazy. Um, I didn't think I'd have an update so fast. I literally just left the room and came back and my meter is already at 75%. It's been less than two minutes and that battery is almost at 75% of its charge. I'm gonna unplug it. Let's see what the voltage shows. Ooh, hopefully I don't block that on you guys. And again, I didn't clean the terminals yet. There you go, she's 11.58. 11. It's, it's going down a little bit, but 11.5, so it's 11 and a half volts in less than five minutes of it charging. Um, let me plug it in, you guys can see for yourself. And I didn't even put any more liquid in it yet. Didn't even check the inspection plugs. Yeah, there you go, 75%. So this is going to be a good battery. I'll, I'll test amperage afterwards when it uh, hits charged. But she's still in good shape. That's pretty exciting. Well, there you go. There's the Allen battery, battery experiment. Two years later, still running strong. Less than five-minute charge. She's, she's getting up there. 
I have no doubt this will be good as new after I cleaned up, get the terminals ready, and top off those cells. Thanks guys.